So what are we doing today? Well, today we're touring an Arizona farm. It's actually a ranch, the Shankel Ranch. And this wall here indicates the beginning of the ranch. And like many ranches, there's a lot of different enterprises, one being cattle for them, and the other being agritourism. And so the original old ranch was converted into a VRBO, along with a treehouse and the old chef's residence. So you can come and tour with me with the, the proprietor, I would say, or the manager of the agritourism residencies here at the Shankel Ranch in Tubac, Arizona. So down I go through a wash. in Arizona being known as a low water crossing. So here we here we are. Here's the gate. Found it. And what's amazing is the people that are managing the ranch, they gave me the code to the the to the ranch. And that's just how ranchers are. And um, so from here on we'll just be touring the the agro-tourism side of, of the ranch, like many ranches, as, as I said previously, there's a lot of different enterprises that make up a ranch. And so I'll just be showing you the different residencies that are available on VRB, VRBO. Entry foyer for the historic Shanko Ranch, located on the PM Ranch in Tubac, Arizona. The PM Ranch is short for some Spanish word that I can't pronounce. That means migrating birds. It's a cattle ranch, and um, you'll see that from the treehouse. You can see the cattle from the treehouse. So tell me a, a little bit about the current owners of the of the ranch. Kirk and Sherry Sinclair. They have a cattle operation in Saskatchewan, in Canada, and they love Tubac so much they they wanted to give it a go here. And this ranch happened to be for sale, so they thought they'd give it a try. So this living room, Sherry stripped down all the beams and restained them so they'd stand out. The beam, the wood beams actually come from the Mount Wrightston, which is over there. There's a big observatory. But the home is filled with antiques. Kirk and Sherry love to collect antiques. And uh, it has four fireplaces, this being the main one. There's one in the so tell me about this room. This room is what we call bedroom number four. It has great views of the pond. What what kind of orchard was it? I think it was a peach orchard. All those suites have Jack and Jill bathrooms with them. And they're typical of the 1930s. This is bedroom number five. And this bed, we have documentation that President Coolidge slept in it. This is the sunroom that overlooks the pool. And Mount Wrightston in the background. And Mount Wrightston, which you told me is where the beams came from for the yeah. hacienda. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, there's an amazing tree house that was built for kids, but it's an adult sized tree house that's also for rent. All part of the agro-tourism theme of this enterprise of the farm. This is the entrance to the tree house. So this treehouse was actually built by the treehouse guys that were on a cable show. I like the tree in the treehouse. There's two. Here's the inside digs of the treehouse. Turn on the light. And all the wood is locally sourced. Mm -hmm. The windows are repurposed from the main house when they remodeled. There's your water closet, which the, uh... is flushable. And this is the loft area of the treehouse for the kiddos or whomever else might be wanting to be up in the loft. The other side is the cattle operation. And way in the background on the left hand side, that's elephant head. So last but not least, this is the bunkhouse. Now the previous owners had this house built for their chef. Um, so he could prepare meals and whatever, have a place to stay. So although the ranch is historic, it is gone with the times. That's a robotic lawnmower.